Howdy y'all, this is Red Wolf. Today we're going to be talking about the Cold Steel Voyager Extra Large. So, this is the knife. It's got a five and a half inch blade with, I believe, a six and three quarter inch handle on it, which is made out of uh, Zytel with this really aggressive stippling on it. Uh, it comes with a uh, lanyard hole right here at the back which is honestly not my favorite position for it. It's a little... So you see you have the finger grip up here for it. It's kind of your standard. I really like to hold it like this, my middle finger in it, so I can choke up, get real good control when I'm cutting on stuff, or to get in here for skinning, doing some of the stuff of that nature. The back choil back here, I keep wanting to call them a choil, but these little grip sections right here, I'm not the biggest fan of them. You can see you can get this weird choke up cold steel small sword kind of crap going on with it. I don't know if they're necessary right there. I think they hold okay with these three, kind of this angle for doing some light chopping. Um, I think the total weight on this thing comes in at somewhere around seven ounces. I think cold steel has it at 7.2. They're Cold Steel's weights tend to be something closer to shipping weight than actual weight, so they can vary a little bit. Um, I got this knife as a kind of a backup to a full-size knife. I'm not going to recommend it for a carry blade in most uh, most states and stuff like that. It's a little too long at five and a half. I think our I think our newest laws here in uh, Louisiana drop drop off at like five inches tops. Something like that, which is part of the reason why I have this little length of uh, paracord on here. You can slip it in your pocket. It'll hang out a little bit. It's not technically concealed. But uh, as a backup to a regular sheath knife or if you got something like this on you, it's really good. You're in a spot where you're not going to get any trouble for having it, for sure. This screams EDC to me. Um... Okay, I'm going to try and get some cutting footage on here for y'all and uh, just kind of show you what I'm talking about a little bit better. Okay. So this is going to be, uh, this is sort of going to be our everyday use kind of stuff. There's stuff like this for peeling bark. And this isn't green wood. This is some dried, just covered in twiggy bits that I picked up off the ground. You can see we just make shavings. There's no real resistance it goes. You want to cut it quick. It just goes the edge here. Still out of the box sharp. It's uh, it's really good steel. They call it some kind of carpenter steel. I'll put it up here if y'all can... You know, steel guys can really give me an opinion on that at some point. But I got a buddy who bought the, uh, the broken skull. A smaller knife like four ounces something like that uh, four inch blade really nice knife and he bought that and I watched him play with his and the more he played with his the more I kind of wanted one but they're a little I, I just like the bigger knives so uh, I saw that these had the same steel in them and uh, decided to get one tried out and I've been just nothing but impressed I'm going to do a little chop test on this in a second, try and get the camera repositioned, and I'll get back with you. Okay, so here's my aiming mark. Um, I'm going to try and throw about six cuts. I'm going to see how deep it goes and how controllable it is. It's got a real good bite to it. There's something I really appreciate in one of these. You see that six cut right there wasn't real impressive. I might do it again. But that's going to be on me. The controllability, like I was talking about the little finger bits right here. I'm not used to them. And uh, that makes a little bit of difference. But we hadn't hurt the edge at all. It's still, like I said, you get you, there's a lot of stuff I've had at the shop that isn't this sharp out of the box. And I've been playing with this for a couple of days. I'm going to go ahead. Uh, I'm not impressed with that. That was on me. I'm going to turn this over. And I'm going to throw a couple more blows at it. There we go. 
choke up on it a hair. Yeah. Yeah, but you can see down grip that I find and works better for me is kind of up here a little bit instead of back there. That's really here nor there. I just need to get out here and play with it a little bit more. So right here, final thoughts. Um, get one if you got the money. They're nice. They're really lightweight for the size. The steel is awesome. You really, because the extra long handle, you get a little bit more chopping power than a comparable fixed blade. Uh, Cold Steel's triad lock is crazy. Um, just you hear it. You know, um, I think we were selling these for around 75 at the shop. Cold Steel sells them for like 120. You can find prices all over the place on them. But uh, if you want a personal recommendation, I'd get one. They're just they're solid. They're great for the money. Until next time, this is Red Wolf signing off. Y'all keep up the good fight.